Will her boyfriend cheat while she's at work? But hey, see, hey, bro. What's up? Hi, Good to see so you. nice to meet you. Likewise, likewise. Come on in. Like I said, the cameras are already rolling. We're just finishing setting everything up. Today, we're placing Brianna's boyfriend, Marco, to a loyalty test. You know what you're saying, right? You got the yeah. practice and you got the notes got the there, practice, everything. The notes. Our decoy Violet will be testing Marco's loyalty by hitting on him and asking him on a date. Will he remain loyal or will he entertain Violet's advances? Last chance to back out? You want to back out? No. No, no we're doing this. We're going out. Good luck. My heart is racing. Nervous. Yeah, see. Yeah. What happens if he fails the test? It'll be over. I'll be done with him. You know, the bed's really soft. Maybe we can make my ex really jealous. Oh. She's pulling out. She's trying hard as fuck. Do you want to go upstairs then? Let's go. Ah. Uh, this is America banning. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. My team good. got in contact with Brianna when we were looking for decoys. You see, she's a model, and we were supposed to hire her to play decoy in another oh, no. video. Ironically enough, though, during the process, she ended up mentioning, hey, I would be down to test my boyfriend. So we were like, if you're down or down, we All could right. do that instead. So my boyfriend, he has a moving company, mm -hmm. but I feel like he's using that as an excuse to talk to other girls. He's always telling me that he's at work. He comes home late. Mm. He keeps getting mm -hmm. texts. Like, I'll hear his phone ringing. He'll, like, hide it. He'll go outside. Mm -hmm. My intuition's telling me that he's cheating on me, doing something. And so. he says he's. So, yeah, if, if I'm not letting you see my text and I'm walking outside while I'm texting. <laughs> he says that they're clients. It's obvious. Gotcha. Brianna's boyfriend's Marco owns a small moving company. He's always That's working lots. late and communicating with his clients, but Brianna is suspicious. She thinks that he's talking to other girls and using his job as cover. Yeah. I don't want to believe that he's cheating on me, but yeah. a lot of red flags. Yeah, because if the girls that he's talking to, if they're his clients, I feel like he should only be talking to them like two weeks at the very most, maybe? Yeah, yeah. and appropriate business hours. Yeah, I've confronted him a lot of times, but... <clears throat> He keeps making excuses. He even gave me a promise ring that he wants to marry me. Uh, he's definitely so I'm cheating, just confused. Bro. Oh, he gave you a he gave you a promise yeah. ring. Yeah. Can we see? It? Are you wearing it? No. Well, I'm not wearing. If he does, he says, you know, when he comes over, Violet is gonna hit on him. What do you want him to say to her? I just hope that he respects me. Yeah. Behind my back. Is there any like limits to how far? Like, do you want the decoy to like, if yeah. there's an opening, to go all the way through with it, or just kind of like, how much? Do you mind her with yeah, you know. yeah, she could she could go all the way, whatever yeah. whatever she's feeling in the moment. So, ah, let's <laughs> fuck. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Don't be nervous. I'm scared. You gotta, you gotta add your car, so you gotta get comfortable with it. Since Brianna thinks that the girls that Marco talks to aren't really his moving clients, the plan is for Violet to become one of his moving clients. A couple days ago, we had her call him up and ask him to come to her house to I was give about her to an say, estimate. Like, how are they gonna meet? This is gonna on be how like much porn acting type shit. She would charge her to help her move. You know what you're saying, right? You got the yeah. practice and you got the notes the there practice, and everything. The notes. We only had one shot at this, know. so before calling Marco, we called other movie companies for practice, and Who thank knows? God we did. As it turns out, these companies do but don't like to give in-person estimates. They prefer to quote you over the phone or online with an hourly rate or a ballpark price. But that, of course, wasn't gonna work for us. We needed Marco to come to this house, which is why we ended up making Violet rich and complicated. Hi, is this How can I help you? I am calling because I wanted to hire some movers to help me out uh, moving from my house. Yeah, okay, sure. Can you tell me a little bit about um, your move and your home? Like, yeah, you move, uh, so I have, uh, it's a two-story home, 6,000 square feet, four bedrooms, five bathrooms, there's a backyard, a man. pool, multiple sofas, walk-in nice closet, there's just, it's a lot. <laughs> Honestly, if you want to make it easier, do you guys do in-person estimates? Um, yeah, I, I can definitely do that. I mean, you can also just send me pictures of the home and I can give you an estimate through those just to make it easier. For I you. don't think you'd get the full sense of like how big the house is. Also, there's like some things I want to keep, some things I don't want to keep. So I, I don't know. I think you should come in person just so it's um, easier. Okay, I mean, uh, you can A1 also act. just let me know what she's a good actor. Going to stay. <laughs> um, Where she learned this no, from? No, <laughs> I think I just think it would be easier. It's a lot to explain. As expected, Marco offered alternatives, but luckily for us, money talks. Honestly, I have like a ten thousand dollar budget. I can pay you just to come down on top of whatever I pay for the move. Okay, 
Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that can definitely work. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you so much. We said he just said. Okay. And just like that, Violet became Marco's moving client. You guys know what you're doing. You guys know your lines and everything. Yeah. yeah. Kyle, this is your girlfriend for the video. Oh, for the video. I thought it was my one of three every week. <laughs> oh my God, play your one over day here. We're gonna have to test Kyle's loyalty. Uh oh, Kyle, you're in trouble. Just kidding, I bet Kyle is as loyal as they come. Follow him if you agree. Last chance to back out? Do you want to back out? No. I don't We're agree. doing this? We're doing this. I try to stay away from jobs that have like kissing involved. I don't want to get him mad or jealous mm -hmm. or disrespect him or nothing. You try to stay away from jobs that have kissing involved. It shouldn't be hard to do. I how many jobs involve that, bro? Yeah. I assure you. I can only think of a, a it's couple. It's just work. I even invite him on set so that he doesn't have to worry about me lying. Set, right? Like that. So I'm open and honest about everything that I do. Mm. But with him, it's the opposite. He's more secretive. I think set. it's important to mention that Brianna isn't the only one suspicious in this relationship. What Marco does she do? Is also suspicious of her talking to other guys. As I said before, Brianna is a model. She gets booked all the time for photo oh, and video okay. shoots. You're telling him the same thing, right? It's just business. Oh, I'm just set. working. I just get hired for video shoots, photo shoots, all this stuff. But you're not doing anything with other people. Or maybe you are. No, I'm just kidding. I'm loyal. <laughs> but I asked him if I could go with him and he'll he'll tell me no mm -hmm. so it's kind of weird so these two have the same doubts and are telling each other the same exact thing which makes me wonder who got suspicious first yeah, being is hard. i would not recommend to date a model or a photographer but then i'm both <laughs> I'm not saying anybody's cheating here, but I think it's, it's easier funny. to cheat as a model versus a mover. So maybe Marco got suspicious first. He either said or did things in spite, which then caused Brianna to get suspicious, and now we're here. Right, Do you bro. have a with you? He said he He's brought. trying to get this watch time. Is, okay? is that cool? Yeah. Is that yeah, fun? But then again, maybe Marco. Look at this ring, yo. If this is real, this is a ton of money to spend just to get somebody off your back. I found something comparable online between 500 and 1,000 bucks. So maybe Marco's loyal and maybe he's not gonna cheat. But then again, maybe the ring's not even real and he just told her that it was. I think he loves me, but I also think he's a player. I think he wants both, but hopefully I'm just being dramatic. Hello? Oh, she's on her phone, she's on her phone. I think he's here. Okay, I'm gonna come out and help you. See, bro. Oh, I'll yeah, he's here. Marco had arrived, which meant that this test was now in full swing. Marco? He's like, I'm about to get paid 10K. Oh. And okay. I'm a fuck. Yeah, Violet, nice to meet you. Oh, here we go. Crazy. Thanks for making the trip. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, okay. it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I did actually leave uh, like my purse. I think it might be in my car. So I'm gonna check yeah, really yeah, quickly. No, of course. Yeah. Violet is pretending to have left her purse in her very expensive car. And apparently, as she looks for it, Marco's eyes wander. <laughs> to be fair, for all we know, Marco could just be checking out the Lamborghini. Let's give this man the benefit of the doubt. Let's not label him a dog day, just yet. Yeah. These stages check out a lot. He definitely was checking out the least the skirt. He looks mesmerized. Oh, this car's so big. Mm. Actually, I like the color. Oh, the color, yeah. Have you ever been in one? I have not. You haven't? Do you want to go in? Um, sure. Okay, yeah, I can show you. You can go on that side. I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. I don't see my purse. It's fine. Violet can't seem to find her purse, but that's all part of the plan. It'll come up again later, so don't forget it. I don't know how I feel like if I just had my partner go into a random car with someone that they just met. You hear it? Violet got Marco here by pretending to be rich. This house and Kyle's Lamborghini are definitely reinforcing that. But Marco is here on business, so in order for Violet to make her move, we've got to start tearing down the professionalism, which is why Violet invited him to check out the car and will invite him to do more later on. She needs to be Marco's most laid back and chill customer ever. Yeah. Guys, let me tell you this. If a girl's playing like she's not even trying to fight at all and she just met you like a random ass dude, you being set up. How does he not know he's not being set up right now? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like she's not even flirting. She's just. Um, what do you mean by like a sight? It's too obvious. I don't know. After a bit more small talk, Violet eventually starts bringing Marco inside. I just thought it looked like more sporty Who's kind of. Set up all the time yeah, like girls, I'm over like, no. here. This is the house. So we're just pretty much waiting here until we're, we're supposed to just get our get our ring in from Sergio. Do you come out here often to Hollywood? Um, I mean, only when I have. Do you hear them stories yeah, all the time? Enough. A girl set a dude up. Oh, wow. And yeah, then a bunch of other dudes in? come in and rob the place. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So Huntington's yeah. closer there. So this yeah. is the house. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Thank you. Yeah. 
It's nice. I'm gonna be moving soon because my boyfriends and I broke up. So oh, this is technically it's technically his house, but everything in it is mine. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to go. Like when I came here first, Some nothing was furnished. I had to buy everything for the house. It's so hey, you chose well. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like he was kind of insecure because like I would always buy stuff and whatnot. So I think he just kind of like, you know what I mean? Okay. I think he was just a little insecure because oh. I made more money than him, but. Summit can be like that. Yeah, I think that's kind of what led Summit to us breaking like up that. a little bit. Yeah. Um, Not let's go me, ahead, though. look around. <laughs> Not Violet's moving me, out because she just broke up with her boyfriend. She gives Marco careful instructions on what she'll be, be taking from the house. Mom, the wood is really delicate, so if you could wrap it as well. Do you want me to disassemble it? Yeah, I can disassemble it, or if no, you want I, I to. This sofa is mine. This is mine. That's mine. TV, wrap it up, please. What do you think he's thinking right now? What happened? What do you think he's thinking right now? He's fighting me, she's hot. <laughs> you don't think that? He's thinking like, this lady's kind of weird because she wants to leave this, back, take that, she's and she's going through like broken. an emotional breakup right now. I don't know. <laughs> um, this one is pretty heavy. Do you think you're gonna, is there gonna just you? Or? No, I'm, I'll probably get a couple of guys. Okay, I mean, you look pretty strong, so. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh. Um, and then you can take all this right here. Let's leave the rug. All right, they're coming upstairs. Watch your step, it's a little slippery. Remember guys, being a complicated customer was partially how we got Marco to the house. Hopefully we don't annoy him though. Our goal is to continue breaking the professionalism down. Definitely want to keep the bed. It's literally the softest bed ever. So you should feel it, it's like really nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. And then... <laughs> Come to think, but we should have put cameras in the freaking rooms. Because <laughs> now, like, I want to see. Bala completes her no, tour of three or four it. bedrooms upstairs. She's telling him that this room is supposedly her ex's room, and that's why they're not going to go in it. Everything in there is his. Okay. So, need just, yeah, we don't... Okay. It's infected. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there's a lot, so... No, no, How long have you been doing this? Like, four years. Nice, nice. I'm she's glad This is not her first hand. rodeo doing Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just have one more rodeo. Over here. <laughs> the tour is, is almost lady? done, but in order for Marco to give Violet a solid <laughs> quote, he needs to know the address to her new house in order to calculate his travel costs. As planned, though, Violet has withheld that information from him. There was no new house. We just needed a reason to keep Marco there. I kind of was expecting a lot more stuff, but... Oh, yeah, that's no, good. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Pretty okay, good nice, nice. Yeah, I just need the address for the new place. Yes. Just looking at the house right now, I would say, like, maybe 6500 but with... The oh! Bank. Oh, that's, no, that's, that's, that's without the address though. No, yeah, that's yeah. way less than I thought it would be, so it's fine. Yeah, so um, I mean, once I get yeah. the address, then I can give you like a how much, solid uh, is this? Is that a okay. good yeah. price? Um, I don't know how much. My realtor. She's we'll usually pretty charge. responsive, so she'll get back to me pretty soon. Okay. Um, and then I can give you the address and we can finish the estimate. But you can just you can just sit over there. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, do you want anything to drink? Um, I have wine, water. Uh, I'll take some water. Water? Yeah. You don't want any wine? Uh, <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Are you sure? I'm sure. Boring. Okay. So far, how do you think he's doing? He's being professional, but we're gonna find out. Yeah, hopefully he stays professional. <laughs> <laughs> she closed the wine cellar door all <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I was gonna ask for your help, actually. I don't know how yeah. to open this. Could you do it for me? Thank you. Here's the So opener. why did he sit down, bro? You have really why nice Why did he arms. sit down? Thank you. Do you go to the gym a lot? Every day. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, damn. I just texted the realtor. She said she'll be here in about five minutes. So, so she'll be here? She'll text. She'll send me the address in about okay, five okay. minutes, yeah. As Violet waits for a realtor to text her the address to her new home, she makes a glass of wine for herself and for Marco. He was already hesitant in having some, which is a good thing. Again, we're just trying to make Violet his most chill and laid back customer. Am yeah. I like the hardest client you've had? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I've definitely had one. Alrighty, Kyle, go ahead and make your entrance. Over. Okay, sounds good. If you have these new, like, the general location, I could just give you this. I haven't, like, been to it, but my realtor, she knows me pretty well. She knows what I like, so. So you just got a new place mm -hmm. that you've never seen in person. I mean, I, if I don't like it, I can just get a different one. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean. All right, here goes Kaya. I'm just going to wait for her, but just because I don't want to, you know. No, 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 that's fine. You should try some, though. I know you said you don't really drink, but it's, like, really, it's really good. I'll try it. 
he's drinking with he her. He started drinking. He's being wine. peer pressure. Okay, Leave him this alone. isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it does mean that Marco is getting comfortable. We truly were breaking she down the like five times. Like, I don't really drink wine anymore. Dark alcohol. I'll get you something you like next time. Oh. <laughs> Marco doesn't know it, but Violet has already begun making her move. We just needed the nail in the coffin for her to go all the way. That, of course, is where Kyle and Julia come in. Can you stop living your in my car? What are you doing here? Remember the purse that Violet was looking for at the beginning of the test? Well, as it turns out, she left it in her ex-boyfriend's car. You know, the ex that she told Marco all about. I told you I did not want to see you anymore. That's great, then you can get the f out. What does it look like I'm trying to do, Kyle? Damn, Kyle plays a good asshole. <laughs> I don't see movers anywhere. Is he possibly your mover? Excuse you, this is my new man. His name is Marco. Oh, Marco, oh wow, so that's you move on from me to that? <laughs> he actually works out. <laughs> I get Kyle was being a dick to Violet, but that was his role. Why did she have to come after him like that, though? I will have you know, my man's Kyle is a stud. He's just too busy making all this money to hit that gym. <laughs> my man's is Hercules. He could go back to being Hercules whenever he wants to. But take your pay less ass purse out my Why the f was my bag in your car? Did one of your things take my into your car you're getting mad because he chose me over you i have my own i moved on i upgraded i have marco you're the third girl i've seen this week so you know just what? we gotta go before us exactly please be out you're my the next third week you're the third girl i've seen this week <laughs> crazy okay thing number get two your, get your head out of here three four five i swear he brings like a new girl here every day <laughs> sorry i'm so sorry no, oh my god i did not mean to like bring you into that <laughs> Oh my gosh, so funny. It's my I mean, ex, so oh, I, I'm sure you I, can, I can see why him. he's an ex. Kyle, he plays a good ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you think is gonna happen? I think he's gonna go for it. I think he's gonna, he's failing. I don't know, he was kind of, kind of passive in there. We had no yeah, idea what we thought of all this, but you guys get what we were going for, right? I literally just met you and I made you pretend to be my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, I'll, I'll admit that's a first. I mean, I wouldn't know. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that. I don't know, he's just always doing that. Like he's such a dick, he always comes in here with, like a new girl is trying to make me jealous or whatever, I don't even know. Like Definitely seemed like he was trying to make you jealous there. I mean, it doesn't really make me jealous, I just get more annoyed seeing him. I mean, you saw how he threw that purse at me? Yeah. Like who does that? He has well, some it's issues. Well, you're leaving though. Yeah, I mean, I know I was like joking with him about that, but honestly, like, he did Bro, kind of seem like he's supposed to be the mover, now he turned into the goddamn therapist. This was it. After a very long and elaborate test, they have the a moment commercial of truth had arrived. It was time to see if Marco would remain loyal. This is a TV show I know I was like joking with him about that, but honestly, like you do kind of seem like my type. You know, muscular. <laughs> <laughs> Your type. Yeah. The last dude did not look so, the same. So, like, how many more hints should I drop for you to realize I'm trying to get you to ask me out? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you want to go out? Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to. <laughs> Damn, okay. That's cold. Mm -hmm. How's that, how's that cold? I don't know, it kind of seems like you're... Let me see this. Like what? I don't know, like using me as a rebound? No, no, you're like, like you're typically the kind of guy I would go for. Like, honestly, he's not even my type. Like, I don't know, I find you attractive and I like actually want to get to know you. <laughs> If you, if you would want to, too. Solid boy, bruh. <laughs> um, depends. Yeah, I mean, if I was just trying to make him jealous, would you mind? Well, what were, what were you trying to? Maybe, like, you know, do more to make him jealous? Okay. Is there... Like, would you mind? Yeah, doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. Honest, he said there's no cameras, yeah. no cameras right now. Oh, damn, I, I mean, Do you, yeah, I would doing? probably go with whatever. I mean, if that's the end goal, yeah, I mean, we definitely could. Do you have like a you don't have a girlfriend, right? Or, no, I actually don't. Have you don't, have a girlfriend? <gasps> he said it, <coughs> cold bit. He's cold hearted, bro. Is that a fail already? Well, in that's that fail. case, would you maybe want to go out sometime? Yeah, we could do that. Yeah? What time are you off today? 
She's sick to her well, stomach. I mean, it is my business. I can be off whenever. I can mm. just send someone else. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe we can, you know, do something. Do you want to maybe go upstairs then? Wait, what? Really? Yeah, we can go right now. And, um, to what exactly? Make my ex really jealous. You know, the beds are really soft, how I was telling you earlier. Maybe we can, you know, go from there, if you know what I mean? I think I think that's a good place to start. Yeah. Oh my god. Do you think us hooking up would make him jealous? <laughs> I mean... She's got him flustered over here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we can go. Come on. Really? Yeah, come on. Let's go. No. He's really doing up. this I'm to getting, me. This was crazy nah. on so many levels. My okay. sixth sense be going off. I'm oh. getting set Not up, only bro. did Marco deny having a girlfriend, not only did he, he agree to go out Violet, he also agreed fuck? to make Violet's boyfriend jealous on the soft bed in the room. I think we all know what that freaking means. Come on now. Is she actually going to take have the same mic as me? For a guy who said he didn't... I think we all know what that freaking means. Come on now. Is she actually going to take him upstairs? There's the same mic as me. What the fuck? He didn't like lying. Marco was chugging. He knew what he was getting into. He was getting ready. Okay. Yeah, let me clean this up actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go, go do it. that. Sorry, I just thought of that. I'll be right back. What is this vest? Stalling. Do you want to see if he actually goes into the room? Because I think she's stalling right now. So you can go down there and confront him right now, or you can see if she actually takes him into the room. But I think you gotta decide like right now. If you guys recall, Brianna was asked how far Violet should take things. She could go all the way, whatever she's feeling in the moment. Okay. I, I didn't know. think she would actually do it, but Violet was to, going all the way. To do. So what do you think you want? They need to. They're laying in the bed. She needs a bus in the room right but there. You want Because you could go downstairs right now. But if you want to go to the room, I could possibly. No, no. Let's wait. Let's right wait. Now. Yeah. yeah. I want to. I want to see them in the room. I want to see that look on his face. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure Violet was stalling so because she was waiting for us to come downstairs and confront Marco. So uh, we ended yeah. up texting her that we were going to keep things going and which room to take him to. I then used my stealthy ninja skills to set up a camera in the bedroom with the quote unquote soft bed. Now I had no idea where to set up this camera. Marco had been in the room before, so moving things around could make him suspicious. Eventually, though, I decided to just hide it under the curtain. It wasn't our best work, but it was enough. I'm pretty sure they would just walk up here for a couple of minutes, and then Brianna would confront Marco. Put this back in the wine cellar. So, putting it back I don't back know if y'all paranoid like me, but I'd be looking at Oh, no. I don't know. It's always been a weird door. Let's go I got upstairs. it. Oh, thank you. It's a gentleman. That's really soft. I don't know if that was the best place to put door or not, but we just put it there. It was a close call, and we weren't going to be able to see the footage in real time, but the mission was accomplished. Let me bring it in here. Um, I'm going to change into something more comfortable, so I'm going to go do that. I'll be back. Make yourself okay. comfortable. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Just give me a second. I'm gonna go change into something more comfortable. So you should, you know, take, you know, take that off. Make yourself okay. comfortable. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. I'll be here. Okay. Right there. I'm getting. Oh my god. I'll be right back. No. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? I think she's bro? coming in here. This is so she's weird. Coming. I was not, I'm so sorry, I did not expect to go that far. So he's in the room right now? Yeah, I told him to make himself comfortable. <laughs> kind of like taking off his clothes. What? Is he taking off his clothes? <laughs> I think so. No way. You want to Yeah, I can't take this anymore. Uh, he was not acting like he had a girlfriend. Alrighty, Kyle, we're going in for the conversation where you can come up. Over. The thing is her Marco had a drastic was to put a 38 Brianna made her way to confront her potentially naked boyfriend. I hope you guys have your talkies for this one. Because you guys already know. This is gonna be good. Everybody
already knows you're a man whore, a lying piece of God. What the you do you have to say to yourself? You can't even explain this. Dude, calm down. You just showed your true colors. What the f I didn't do sh Here's your That's the go to, bro. I ain't do shit. I don't want it. Why you mean so? Why are you so mad? Why are you mad right now? Calm, no, calm down. No, I ain't do nothing. No, no, no. Not for no. the camera. Not for the camera. Not for the garbage. Take your trash. So, Marco, this entire thing was basically all a test. The truth is, like, none of this was real. We just were helping. If I'm Marco, find out, like, I am not staying here. He would say low to her leaving. or not. She had her doubts. She had her concerns about oh, you. He's going to sit down. Man. Violet doesn't really live here. Yeah, this is her house. Down, she was just pretending to like be into and all that. How many other clients have uh, you cool. been? Uh, all right. Bye. You're going to throw all of this over her? I don't even. She was the one who offered me the alcohol. Okay, She's the one who's trying to get me drunk. You killed right. her. You denied our relationship. I didn't even See how it's, the agency just goes away. He don't have free will, I guess. She's just, you know, puppeteering him. You don't have free will. I didn't kiss her. You asked her for a kiss. I didn't kiss You were getting she's naked in the bed. What the do you have to say for yourself? There's nothing for you to explain. You, you just showed your true color. We've been through all of this. Everything we we've been through all of this. You know me. We have over this. Oh. Yes, we're done. I was loyal to you. You're the one that was going behind my back cheating your clients. How many other clients have you been how many other none. girls is there? None. I, I promise you, none. Okay. Yeah, let me see your phone you're right a now. Liar! You're a lying piece of. Let me see your phone right now. Out of here! I can't stand you. It's I, over. I, it's I, over. I, okay. Bye. You can go through my phone. You don't trust here. me. It's over. No. We're done. <laughs> what the fuck? We're done then. You're a pathetic Bye. piece of. I'm no, I don't trust you. Man whore. Leave me. Damn. Ooh. Out of here. Wow, that was a direct hit, not once, but twice. First, Damn, with the slap, bro. which I gotta cut away from because you know, YouTube. And second, was that flawless chancla throw. Bow! I mean, she, she, she's got that in her jeans. Of course, that's gonna hit. The chancla don't miss. She really uh, threw the chunker. Oh, no, I don't trust you. I was not you can't change a hoe, so you change a hoe. He was Easy. way too eager. I think he was trying to ask me if I had an hands earlier. He was like, I was like, oh, I do modeling, content creation, whatever. And he's like, oh, is it like subscription based? I'm not surprised. Those eyes were worshiping. Like, he could be number one <laughs> donator. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that fashion waste. No, literally, you can do. You can do so much better. You're gorgeous. I don't know what he was thinking. He's in Delulu land. I don't Focus on you and then just see where things go naturally. You may find the right person just at work one day. Just randomly and run into them. Anything's better than someone who acts like that. Like Facts. He embarrassed himself. Like, he did this Facts. to himself. You know what I mean? Like. God damn, bro. Yeah. Hate cheaters. Why be in a relationship if you don't want to be loyal? Like, it don't make sense to me. Y'all y'all funny. Yeah, really funny. Unless you, unless y'all okay with it, be like, yeah, girl, I, I can't be with one girl. And she's like, all right, it's fine. Then that's the only way. It's fine. But first of all, you're a liar, bro. You gotta be okay with that. You're a liar. No one can trust you, bro. How can you even trust yourself? If I'm your friend, and I know you're a cheater, it's like. So you can say this to this girl, I love you. I want to marry you. And you can lie to her. What makes you think? Well, yeah, what makes me think like you're not going to lie to me? You know what I'm saying? Like, especially. Like, there's not too many people you're closer with than your fucking wife. Like, what the <laughs> So, my mic's falling. I'd be looking at you two times, like, mm, mm, I don't know if I can trust you, bro. Unless I known you, like, way back in the day. But still, even then, like, you that comfortable with lying. <laughs> that's, my, that's just what you are. 